In this video, I will show how you can edit the style of the default right and left timeline layout. Under Elementor Timeline Style tab, we have the line settings, which is the first section. We can increase or decrease the line width here. Here, we can change the color of the line. Next, we can add a color filling the line which is visible on scroll. Here we can add a border to the line. Under line border, we can increase the width, if needed. And again, we can change the color of the border, as well. We can change the border style like solid, dotted, dashed, double, with this border style options. We can change the border width here that we need around the line. And we can select a color to add a color to the line border. Next, we can change settings, for the icon or dot. Here, we can change the icon background color. Next, we can change the icon or text color of the icon here. We can add a border for the icon with this option. Under icon border, we can change the border type with these options. We can increase the icon box size here if needed. We can also change the icon text size by dragging the slider horizontally. Similarly, we can change the radius for the icon box, from circle, to square. Under label style settings, we can increase or decrease the gap, between the label, and sublabel. We can change the color of the label here. Next, we can change the typography of the label here. We can select the global font style here. And again here, we can select and change any settings here. The font family. Weight of the font. Other font settings like uppercase or lowercase or capitalize the label. Next, we can change the font style here. If we need we can underline or strike through the label with this option. We can increase or decrease the label size here by dragging the slider option. Next, moving on to sublabel settings, we can change the color of sublabel. Change the typography of the sublabel, like we did with the label settings. Here, we can increase or decrease the sublabel size. Next, we can change these year label settings that's visible online. We can change the color for year or label here. the background color of the label, the typography settings changes, same as previous label settings. Same with the border settings, and year box size settings, changes, where we can increase, or decrease box size, by dragging the slider. Next, coming to content background, and border settings. We can add a padding around the content. Next, we can add spacing under the content in the bottom. Next, we can select and add a background color for the content. We can add hover background effect for the content, mouse over background color for the content here. Next, under content box border, we can add a border for the content. We can select a border type, from these options. We can change border width that's suitable for the content. Here, 
We can select the color for the border, as well as change the border radius, to give it a nice cool corner around the box. We can add a shadow to the content box here. Next, we can change the content box connector with these options. We can add a border color for the content box connector. And as well as a background color for a content box connector. Let's see the remaining style settings, for the right left, vertical layout, in the next video.